Hi my name is Chime Seng. We are starting a new series on the E3D command window. The command window is definitely a productivity boost especially for an administrator. Just a word of caution, you need to be careful when you are using the command window as you are writing directly to the database. If you accidentally modify an attribute of a component, it might be difficult to reset the attribute back to its original state. We recommend that you save work before each set of command that you use. In this case if you make a mistake you can go back to the previous state with a quip without saving. In later videos we will also talk about markdb to help you with undo db. In case you do not have the command window open, you can go to the tools tab and select display command. Let's size the command window a little. You can put your mouse over the edge and size the width of the command window. Let's change our font size for the command window so that you can see what I am typing. The first term that I want to discuss is C or current element. During your operation of the software, there is a point at which we call current element. Let's try our first command in the command window, QCE. This will show which element the pointer is pointing to. You can see it is pointing to an element named productive site. Not that in E3D all names has a forward slash before the name. When I select an element graphically, this will move the element pointer to what I have selected. I now type QCE again, this time the element is prod. We can use the element name to navigate or change the CE pointer. You notice that the model hierarchy changes and the highlight in the view changes as the CE changes. Let's navigate back to productive site. Let's navigate back to prod. And we come to the next command, QATT. Or query attribute in full. This command display the attribute of the current element. Commands in E3D can shorten to the minimum characters that make it unique. Hence QATT, QATTR, QueryATT all works. If you want just to check a particular attribute, like the position of the equipment, I can use QPosition or QPOS. To change any attribute, we can use the attribute name followed by the value. So I can change the position of the component just using position and the coordinates. You can see that the boxes have been moved. Let's move back to where it was previously. You might use the form to do the move, but the using the command is faster. Of course the form give you other options and you can reset to the previous position. Using the command is much faster, but the move happened so fast, you might accidentally move the wrong element. So use it with caution. Let's clear the command window and look at more commands. Next, we are going to talk about variables. Dash is used for comment, so the command window ignore anything you type that starts with dash. Variables in E3D starts with an exclamation. One exclamation for local variable, two exclamation for global variable. I set variable A to 1. To check the contents of the variable I use Q variable or Q var. E3D variables can store real for numbers and strings as well as objects. If we try to store a string in A, we will get an error because it is set as a variable that store number. We need to create a new variable for the string. You will notice that string is enclosed between single quotation mark. You can also use either vertical bar instead of quotation mark. With these simple commands that we learn, we are going to look at how we can make use of them to create the negative solids in the two box elements. We start with two box primitives stacked together. To create the negative cutaway, we need to create negative cylinder beneath the box primitive. We navigate to the box using the model hierarchy. With the current element, we create the negative cylinder. This is not a lesson on modeling, so we will just create a negative cylinder without paying attention to the diameter or position. We are not too concerned over the height as well. If you expand the hierarchy, you can see the negative cylinder beneath the box element.
We have created two cylinder in an adjacent equipment element where we want the negative cylinder to cut the boxes. Now we will use the commands that we have learned to create the negative cylinder. Let's start by assigning the first cylinder to a variable. CE is also a global variable. We assign the value of CE to variable NCILI. Note that variable names are not case sensitive. Next, we will navigate to the negative cylinder that we created and set the values of height, diameter, and positian from the variable. The dot is used for attribute assignment. We use the variable CE with the dot and attribute name to do the assignment. I just change the view to see the effect as we set the attributes. You can see I can select the lines in the command window to save me time from typing. I can also use the keyboard up and down keys to recall the commands that I have used. When I change the height of the negative cylinder, it will cut through the box. Now to position the negative cylinder. Not we are going to go through the same process to cut the second cylinder in box 2. We select cylinder 2 and assign the element to the Scilly variable again. In box 2, we will create the negative cylinder using the new command. New is a keyword following by the element type for element creation. We assign the attributes from cylinder 2 to the negative cylinder that we just create. Let's remove the solid cylinders and you can see the holes cut in the box. We are going to copy the two negative cylinder to the other box. We assign the negative cylinders to two different variables. I use the next command to navigate to the negative cylinder below. Navigating to the other box element, I create a new negative cylinder and use the copy command to copy the attributes to the new cylinder. I use the dollar to evaluate the content of the variable. I do the new and copy command again, but this time copying the second negative cylinder variable. Now our model is complete. You can try to use the simple commands that I have used in your work in E3D. To summarize, we have learned what is the current element, query command, variables, new for creating element and copy to copy elements that are of the same type. Hope you find the information useful. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. See you again soon.